What's good everyone? It's your boy Dubs and I'm back at it with another banger. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit that sub button as we are getting close to our goal of 17k subs. Make sure to go ahead and hit the bell icon. Make sure to switch to all so you don't miss out on any more content and smash that like button. Let's try to get this video up to at least 40 likes. I know we can go ahead and hit that like goal. Y'all do it every time. Appreciate you guys as always. So today I got for y'all the best lockdown build in all of NBA 2K24. Now, we're gonna go ahead, and I'm not gonna spoil it too much, but let's just get into this video. You need to go right or left-handed. I always go right. We're gonna go with jersey number two in honor of Kawhi, just cause, you know, we're thinking about lockdowns right now. Shooting guard is gonna be the position. Height, we're gonna go 6'7". Weight, we're gonna go 214. Wingspan, we're gonna go with a 7'3 wingspan. Close shot, we're gonna go ahead and bring up to a 44. Driving layup, we're gonna bring up to a 62. Driving dunk, we're gonna bring up to an 80. Mid-range shot, we're gonna go with a 65. Three-pointer, we're gonna go with an 80. Free throw, we're gonna go up to a 62. Pass accuracy, we're gonna go up to a 76. Ball handle, we're gonna bring up to an 81. Our speed of ball, we're gonna bring up to a 75. Interior defense, we're gonna bring up to a 75. Perimeter defense, we're gonna bring up to a 93. Steel, we're gonna bring up to a 91. Block, we're gonna bring up to a 79. Defensive rebound, we're gonna bring up to a 60. Speed, we're gonna go max with an 85. Acceleration, we're gonna go 79. Strength, we're gonna bring up to an 83. Vertical, we're gonna bring up to a 75. And then the rest should go into your stamp for 99. And this is the lock build. Now, the finishing category, quite honestly, there's not too much you can really do. You can try to manipulate this, but for some reason on the 6-7, standing dunk costs more, so you can't really put anything there. You can try to take down driving dunk and put in a driving layup, but it costs a lot more. So what this 80 driving dunk is gonna give you, it's gonna give you some pretty good animations as far as dunking goes. You still get bronze poster, bronze slithery, bronze precision. You get silver aerial wizard, which is important for you to make those lob dunks, just in case we got someone who's throwing them to you. You still get gold spin cycle, gold two step, and bronze whistle. Mid range, we go in with a 65, just because it goes hand in hand with the 83 ball. Now I'm still experimenting with jumpers as you speak, which is why I'm not gonna just throw out a best jump shot video. You know I'm only gonna bring you guys the best quality stuff. But I do see the community pretty much using JT Thor, which has this really low three ball rating of like 78. But having this 80 is gonna allow you to go ahead and get better releases. So you can make a better JT, JT Thor, golly, jumper for yourself. But when 83 ball, you still have the ability to get silver catch and shoot, silver corner, silver green machine, silver spot finder, which is low key one of the more slept on badges. I might go ahead and drop a video on that badge just because this badge is so good. You get silver open looks, which is going to go ahead and give you a boost when you're wide open. So you, you really can't go wrong with an 83 ball. It's pretty safe. 62 free throw. I've tried it already with the 60 free throw on my other build, and I made greens in the wreck on my free throw. 62 is going to be plenty enough. 76 pass accuracy because that's 75. I mean, you get one point, but there's no other badges you can really get with that one point in here. So if you go 76 here, you'll get silver relay passer, which is going to be really useful in the half court, especially if you're a person who swings the ball a lot. You can't go wrong with that. 81 ball handle. Now you will unlock some dribble moves so that way you can at least get out of certain situations if you need to. Like there's like a few seconds left on the shot clock type of thing. You're going to get bronze blow by, silver handles for days, bronze killer combos. You'll get silver speed booster, which is gonna be real nice. Real, real nice, especially when you're in the corner and someone's closing out, you'll be able to go ahead and run real fast to the rim. Silver unpluckable, silver ankle breaker. You get Hall of Fame physical handles on this build because we have an 83 strength. So this is gonna go hand in hand with this unpluckable because unpluckable obviously reduces the chances of getting stripped by the defender. But physical handles lessens the chance of being bothered by defenders on the perimeter while dribbling. So if you ever get caught in a situation where you gotta move a couple steps over, or you know, you're know you getting ready to just do one move and explode towards the rim, 
physical handles hall of fame is going to give you a boost on top of having silver unpluckable so really you don't have too much to worry about if you're a smart dribbler you got 75 speed with ball which is still going to give you that silver hyperdrive and silver triple strike pretty nice for a lockdown build yes 75 interior defense for gold workhorse bronze anchor and bronze post move lockdown you can drop it down to 73 and you'll lose post move lockdown you try to bring it up to the 74 you got it but that one point is either gonna go on a free throw old board or post control so it's not even worth it so we just went 75 interior defense 93 perimeter so you get gold clamps hall of fame 94 feet gold ankle braces gold challenger gold fast feet pick dodger workhorse and hall of fame off ball pests I mean, unless you're talking about a specialty build, like where you can afford to move your perimeter defense up past that 94, because we all know it costs a lot to get past certain badge thresholds, it's not even worth it. You're going to be moving just like any other lock out there with this high perimeter defense. 91 steel. Get used to using right stick ripper. For me, right stick ripper is one of my favorite defensive badges in the whole entire game. You can get this badge to start working on lane steals or on ball defense and since you have interceptor and glove you'll always be getting a boost towards everything you do as far as steel so if you use right stick ripper and you're going for a lane steal interceptor of course activates and then you get a boost on top of it because right stick ripper same with glove so you'll be able to go ahead and be super effective now if you're interested in a build that's an iso demon plus having hall of fame right stick ripper and interceptor make sure to go ahead and check out the video from yesterday shameless plug 79 block though so you at least you get silver chase down artist i mean you can go 78 but like i said it's one of those weird situations on where you're gonna put this one stat so you might as well go to 79 and get a free bronze badge which is pogo stick your block is high enough for you to get bronze anchor so you will get some blocking animations once like straight up and you have silver chase down artist just in case anybody beats you offensive rebound i mean you're not gonna ever be in the paint on offense like that as far as trying to rebound i mean if you are you should just be there trying to hold the box out which is perfect because we got bronze box out beast pogo stick and rebound chaser so at least you'll have a chance of getting certain animations and you'll get a lot of loose balls when it comes to offensive rebounding defense you might occasionally every once in a blue moon get a nice little rebound but pretty much this is going to be so you have the ability to just grab loose balls when they fly past the center then our speed is an 85 you get silver speed booster silver hyperdrive which is going to be nice to pair with that 81 ball handle because you'll be able to get some behind the backs which is going to be good for creating space then we got 79 acceleration we get our gold fast speed like i said silver spot finder really slept on badge get used to using it it's going to end up being meta i promise you we got an 83 strength for our gold clamps we get bronze bulldozer I'm really thinking about the bulldozer badge in the sense of someone closing out on you when you're in the corner. You're going to be able to go ahead and push them off a little bit, and then you can either pass it to wherever you need to, or you'll have a wide open dunk. That physical handle badge is really slept on the fact that we have silver unpluckable, Hall of Fame physical handles. Yeah, you might not be trying to ISO. I mean, some people probably will. I'm sure there's someone who's very skilled out there who can, but that's not the main purpose of this build. But having that Hall of Fame physical handles is just going to be that much tougher for them to go ahead and bother you out there. You got 75 vert, of course, for your bronze poster. You're going to be able to catch lobs and then, you know, ties in the pogo stick and chase down as well. Then we have 99 stamp for silver handles for days. Hall of Fame 94 feet and our gold workhorse. I think that this is the best lock build in the game, hands down. But you get shades of Doug Christie, OG Ananomi, Mikael Bridges for a three and D threat. If you're new to the channel, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to me, hit the little bell icon, switch it to all so you don't miss out any more content and smash that like button. And if you made it this far in the video, go into the comment section and comment clamps down below. Cause hey, until later on y'all, you can definitely catch me in a live stream, which another shameless plug, I live stream every single day over on Twitch. I need people to run with. If you wanna go ahead and run, join us up over there. Because until later, y'all, you can definitely catch me in the live stream. It's been your boy, Dubs. And I love you guys as always. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.